brown dog ticks are actually a very friendly tick. I know that seems like a strange thing to say, but they really prefer dogs in all life stages. We often think of them as the tick that wants to be a flea because it's so happy living in carpet and upholstery and anywhere there's dogs. Well, brown dog ticks transmit a number of different diseases to dogs. They feed on dogs as larvae, nymphs, and adults, and so they're very efficient at moving pathogens between dogs. And so we worry about ehrlichiosis, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, um, anaplasmosis caused by anaplasma platus, hepatozoonosis, babesiosis, there's just a huge number of infections. But they present another threat to dogs, and that's that because they live inside homes and inside kennels, their populations increase dramatically wherever there's dogs, and they can actually cause anemia just from their numbers feeding on dogs, and we've had cases of exsanguination by ticks, just a huge number of ticks feeding on dogs resulting in a need for blood transfusion or in some cases death. We find brown dog ticks everywhere there's dogs and so there really is no limit to their geographic expansion. If you look at the maps that are posted online by CDC, it will just show the entire United States is um, potentially infested with brown dog ticks. We have higher populations in the southern states because they can survive outdoors as well as indoors. But really, we've had home infestations with brown dog ticks in Alaska, um, and I was just in Ontario, and they're struggling with home infestations of brown dog ticks there. So it's here we are in the middle of winter, and there's no shortage of brown dog ticks. Well, one thing about brown dog ticks is that because they live inside homes and kennels, it's always 72 degrees, it's always a hospitable environment, and so there's not as strong a seasonality to brown dog tick infestations. They'll also survive outdoors when it's warm, and so we do see more infestations in the summer months. But really, brown dog ticks are a year-round threat to dogs, and it's one of the reasons that the Companion Animal Parasite Council recommends all dogs be on tick control all year long.